Hey, welcome in. I'm Blue, and this is the Tourbox Elite Plus, the newest creative console created by Tourbox. This device is meant to cut down time it takes for you to make art, videos, models, or whatever else you decide to use it for. And for the first time in Tourbox's line of creative tools, it's compatible with the iPad. Let's check it out together. Tourbox has sent me the Tourbox Elite Plus so I can review it with you guys. If you haven't heard of Tourbox, they're a company that specializes in making these really aesthetic and practical digital art tools. The Tourbox is compatible with macOS and Windows, and they're designed for single-handed use. So no matter which version you get, they are all meant to help make your digital experience as an artist better. I've actually collaborated with Tourbox before on my TikTok. Here is my Tourbox Elite. It was so unexpected when they first reached out to me over a year ago to try this out. And honestly, I haven't stopped using it. I use it for art, editing, and even scrolling casually. I have cats, so reaching around them and my PC to try to use the shortcuts on my keyboard is kind of impossible. The Tourbox Elite is so compact and also really solid. This thing has really got some weight to it. My cats will not be able to push this off on their own and I can't accidentally push it off on my own. Since I use it so much now, it's become second nature to reach for it. I was initially worried I wouldn't get used to it. I mean, there's a ton of buttons and you can make your own combinations, so it was a little intimidating. But the Torbox console app helped me a lot with getting used to all the buttons and combinations. They have these overlay HUD options that you can activate and adjust to your liking. So every click of a button on your Torbox will be highlighted and it even shows you the combinations that you can do. Another thing is haptic touch which makes everything feel so responsive and satisfying, and I absolutely love it. But I know not everyone likes clicking, so you can turn it off if you'd prefer that. But now, let's take a look at the Tourbox Elite Plus. I absolutely love that the Plus comes in this frosted, early 2000s looking aesthetic casing. I've always wanted one of those, I think they're called candy consoles. I always thought they looked so cool, and I was right, the Tourbox Elite Plus looks wicked. It looks very similar to the Tourbox Elite. By the way, the Elite comes in different colors too, but as of recording this video, they don't have any different colors for the Plus. The Plus is able to connect via Bluetooth or wired connection. It's compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and iPad OS. All you need to do is download the Tourbox console app, turn on your console, and you're ready to go. Well, kind of. Something that happened to me with my Tourbox Elite was I couldn't connect over Bluetooth at all. And it wasn't Tourbox's fault. My PC's Bluetooth connection was kind of bad, so I did have to get a Bluetooth amplifier, which fixed all the issues I had connecting my Tourbox. So keep that in mind if you have a PC. Now that everything's connected, we can launch the Tourbox console app. After launching the app, you could see all the pre-made profiles created by Tourbox. You could also create your own profiles for applications you would like to use your Tourbox with. There's also this really neat auto-switching function where your Tourbox will switch automatically between programs. I sometimes use this feature when I forget to draw a frame for my videos and I'm in the middle of editing. It's really convenient. I have also made my own combinations and changed out some preset combinations, like the preset Clip Studio Paint profile. Since I animate a lot with Clip Studio Paint, I decided to switch out the arrow keys on my tour box to flip between previous and next frames. It's such a little change, but it makes a ton of difference. Okay, now it's time for me to let you know why they call it the Tour Box Elite Plus. On the back of the console, you can click this button to connect to your computer, but you could also set up a second profile, and it will automatically connect to that device. So you can switch between a PC and a laptop, or Mac OS to Windows OS, or even to this. The Tourbox Elite Plus is also compatible with iPad OS. You guys don't know how happy I was to see Tourbox come out with this feature. The Tourbox app has a preset profile for Procreate, which is the main app I use for a lot of my work. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. I was kind of nervous to use the Tourbox with Procreate, since it's so gesture heavy. But Tourbox really cooked with this preset. You could turn the canvas, activate settings, and change brush sizes so easily. I got into a groove about an hour into drawing, but I really wanted to try this out with Clip Studio Paint on the iPad. Guys, I bought Clip Studio Paint on my iPad because of the Tourbox Elite Plus, and I don't regret it. Clip Studio Paint and Tourbox just go together so well. Especially since Clip Studio Paint has a cloud system, I can now alternate between using my Tourbox with my iPad, and when I want to switch it up, I can connect to my PC and draw on my art tablet. It is peak convenience. I love being able to use the Tourbox Elite Plus with my iPad so much. It makes everything so much more convenient for me. 
especially if I don't want to work at my desk, I could still take the Torbox Elite with me because it's so compact and portable and I really appreciate that. I absolutely loved using my Torbox Elite on my PC and I've always wanted to use it with my iPad. So now that the Torbox Elite Plus is out, I am so, so happy. Now, do you absolutely need to get the Elite Plus? No. Although I'm sponsored to make this video and I love Torbox, I don't think the vast majority of artists need this device. But hear me out here, if you create art, videos, or any other digital creation as a job, professionally, or regularly, you will not regret getting this device. It's made for single-handed use, so the days of looking at your keyboard or trying to reach for specific shortcuts are over. I absolutely hated using the shortcuts on my keyboard or using the shortcuts on my art tablet. It just never felt right. It was kind of uncomfortable and I have really small hands. So reaching for certain combinations was tedious and annoying. And I, not gonna lie you guys, I still don't know how to type properly. <laughs> so I would always end up misclicking or if I happened to make a mistake, I would have to reach around for my keyboard to fix it. And it was honestly really disruptive to my art flow. So it was kind of annoying to work at my desk. And if I'm being so real, I still don't know how to use all the shortcuts on my keyboard. So having the tour box where everything is where it's meant to be and I just need to use one hand to find the shortcut I need without having to look down and take myself out of my art groove is really nice. And this is so random, but I feel like my posture has gotten a lot better <laughs> while using the tour box. Because now that I have to hold the tour box, I'm not swiping on my phone or hunching over to reach over to my keyboard. I feel like I could really lock in and I don't get as easily distracted. So it really grounds me and it gets me to focus and be in art mode when I'm at my desk. But that's just my experience with the tour box. Like I said, if you are just a regular beginner creative, just getting started, you don't really need the tour box elite plus, but I would highly recommend this for professionals or people who really benefit from something like this, like people who draw regularly, edit regularly, or just need a little bit of help <laughs> like me when making art. Now, if you're one of those people and you really want to get a tour box for yourself, check out the link in my description. It is an affiliate link. So if you do not want to click on the affiliate link, definitely go check out Tourbox's site and use my discount code potatoblue10 to get $10 off your purchase. Everything will be found in the description. A huge thank you to Tourbox for allowing me to review another one of their Tourbox consoles. I am absolutely in love with Tourbox and I love working with them. So thank you so much, Tourbox. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked the video, leave me a like. And if you want to stay tuned for more of my content, consider subscribing. But that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.